Hello friends and welcome back to a new vlogmas video. We haven't done a flip through in a really long time and um, this year I switched over to using a Hobonichi Techo with, so I thought it might be fun because we haven't done any bullet journal content in a really long time that uh, I could show you a realistic flip through of my Hobonichi Techo. Um, so if you don't know, Hobonichi Techo is a type a of Japanese planner made with Tomoe River paper. Um, I'm a big fan because of the Tomoe River paper as a big fountain pen user. Um, if you don't know, my favorite fountain pen is the Twisby Eco. I have an EF nib um, in this little pink baby and it is my daily driver. I love it so dearly. Um, I also am a big fan of Lamy Safaris. I also really like um, my little tiny baby macchiato um, Kaweco Sport. This is my like sketching pen. I like to um, doodle with this pen. Yeah, big fan of fun pens. Uh, so you'll see some pens. I'll, I'll point out uh, some inks and stuff as we flip through. But yeah, I thought it could be fun for today's Vlogmas video. I hope you're all doing well. I hope um, you've all, you know, been planning out what planner you're gonna use next year do you know uh let me know in the comments i am gonna be using another hobonichi techo but mine is the english version uh for next year because uh yoseka did not have the japanese version in stock <laughs> so uh yeah also i am absolutely devastated that hobonichi announced their um hardcover techos last month they announced them? I'm so devastated because if I had known they were going to put out a hardcover techo, I would have waited for the hardcover. But no. Instead, I'm stuck with the English version of the softcover techo, which I know, woe is me, but still. Anyway, let's start. So, this techo um, was kindly gifted to me by one of my patrons, so this is a quick little plug for my Patreon. If you are not a patron of mine, um, you get stickers and digital content and a lot of fun things. Uh, I just finished recording a expense video for my patrons to talk about how much money I made and how much I spent this year and it's very fun. Yeah, so there's there's lots of video content. There's lots of uh, goodie bags and new goodie bag stickers are really cute. Um, stuff like that. So you should definitely check out my Patreon. All right, self plug is done. All right, let's start. So as I said, this techo was kindly gifted to me by one of my patrons um, who wasn't using theirs and it was completely brand new blank, um, which is so kind. Uh, yeah, I tried using this as a habit tracker. I do think that I want to try it again next year because I kind of did fall off, but I have faith. I have faith in my ability to get back onto it. I might make little stickers for the top here um, for next year so I can have a little you know, because I, I, you know, it's like little icons, so it'll look nicer. Anyway, yeah, so as you can see, I did not use, I do not, I did not use this um, section, so we can just flip through it very quickly. And then I also, I, I was gifted this in April, so I think, so I started trying to use it as, um, use my monthly spreads as little doodle things which i do really like doing i think that having these as an overview is really cute um but i am very bad at remembering to do it so i'm thinking maybe next year i will try doing more photos um with doodles i think that'll make it a little bit less stressful for me to try and fill up all of the space but i do really like like for example this one where i'm packing orders isn't that really cute anyway yeah so again <laughs> Speaking of realistic, I did not use any of the monthlies, um, as you can see. Also, I did not know there were so many 2023 monthlies in here. Right. So, this is actually the first day that um, I started using the Hobonichi Techo, uh, April 22nd, because that's when it, it was gifted to me. And I, I was able to use some of the wrapping paper that um, came with the gift package in in the spread, and that was very exciting. Um, and I'm very I'm very happy that, that this was gifted to me because now I'm a die-hard Hobonichi stan. So, 
Yeah, um, I have previously used the Hobonichi Weeks, so I was already kind of a stan, but the Weeks has like a yellowish paper, and I'm not a fan of the yellow paper. I really like the white paper, and the Tetra looks really nice. So, yeah, and then um, here I've been, I've been kind of using this planner as a combination time tracker, a little journaling, um, to-do list maker, and journaling for weekends and stuff. Um, so you'll be able to see all of that in this little flip through. I am trying to flip through this with one hand without making this an excessively long video because this probably will have very minimal editing. But yeah, um, I did try to use my monthly, uh, my like little month start pages. I don't know what they're called. Um, but you will quickly find out that I also did not use them. I very much am big on like the daily pages. I really like the daily pages. Um, I like being able to kind of combine my like little travel journaling with um, my to-do lists. This is this picture is so funny. I love this picture uh, with my to-do list and my tracking. Um, I did for a while try to use up, try to like take up the space with washi tapes and stuff like that. But a lot of my daily pages are often blank if I'm really busy or they're very minimal. Like here, I didn't even bother journaling and like normally I would have tried to fill it up. But as I start, as I use this more and more, I kind of stopped feeling the pressure of trying to fill up all of the pages. So again, lots of empty pages, which is fine. I think, I think having the empty pages is kind of a little bit of a memory as well. Um, because they're kind of memories of how busy I was. Does that make any sense? Um, so yeah, this pink ink is a J. Um, Erban. I think it's this one. Um, Rouge Bour Bourgogne. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> French speakers, please don't at me. Anyway. Yeah, we love our found pen inks. I'm a big fan of the, um, uh, what is it called? Pir Pilot Irishizuku inks. Um, I like that they come in little jars. I also really like the J. Alban inks because, again, little jars. So the gray ink is um, Fuyu Shogun by Pilot Irishizuku. And then you'll find that I use a lot of yellow ink, which is um, J. Alban Amber de Bermani. <laughs> Help! Yeah. Anyway, I'm really good at I'm really good at French. Uh huh. It's fine. Um, yeah. I also like that I got to use my washi tapes a little more. I'm not really good at remembering to use my washi tapes, even though I um, I'm gonna have to blur all these photos. <laughs> uh, even though I I like to collect them, but I do like that I get to use them more um, in my TED show because there's more like space for me to fill it up. I really thought I wouldn't be able to use up. An entire daily page um, but I have been learning that it's okay to not fill up a full daily page once in a while um, on this day I got mail from a lovely friend so I turned the their um, envelope into a mini envelope and I stuck it in and I thought this was really cute except it made the page really thick which makes it kind of hard it made it kind of hard to write in the planner for a little bit but that's fine it was worth it. Um, all of these little washi tapes are mine, and I like them a lot. Um, this one and this one was a collaboration with uh, Washi Station, although I think they're sold out, so um, you cannot get them anymore. Sorry. We are doing another sneaky collab though next year, so y'all should keep your eyes out for that. Um, and I do want to design more washi tapes next year. I have a lot of ideas, so you can keep your eye out and hopefully um you know if you also are a washi tape hoarder you can add to your collection <laughs> yeah so some a lot of these pages are super minimal and untouched i don't know what was happening these days but clearly i was busy so oops um these are a lot of these larger vinyl stickers that you'll see in my planner are from my patreon goodie bags so that um Oh, I'm gonna have to blur that too. 
so uh, yeah, I really like using them. I really should take pictures of them more often because uh, I think people forget that I make Patreon stuff. So I got mail from a friend uh, in Korea this day, uh, and this is one of her stickers. Uh, if you know Evie, Evelyn Park, she's on YouTube, she's on Instagram, she's on Twitter, she's great. She's really cute, I like her a lot. Um, I also started sticking in all of my um, post-it notes. I'm a big post-it note fan. I like to use them to write down ideas for shop stuff and to do this and stuff like that. So I do kind of, I started slapping them into here instead of just throwing them away. Because it's kind of also another memory, you know? This was laying out all of my washi tapes um, that I have designed. Uh, for some shop photography and I think I think it turned out really cute I, th I really like all my washi tapes together I think they look really colorful this one the cat planner one or the planter one this one's sold out uh, which indicates to me that I should make more plant themed washi and also more vertical washies because my other plant washies um, are also on the verge of selling out this is a washi tape by a friend uh, Leanne I'll post um, her handle because I don't know how to pronounce it <laughs> so yeah, um, and all of these, all of these big photos are printed with my Polaroid Zip. I'm a big fan of my little Polaroid Zip, although the app does not work with my Samsung phone, so I have to print with my, um, with my iPad, which is kind of clunky, but that's fine. It works. I really liked it. This sticker, I was a big fan of that one. And yeah, see, another... Another post-it note with all of the shop update stuff I needed to list. Um, I do really like having all these little memories kept in here. Even even the blank pages. <laughs> I don't know what's happening in September. Um, this was, oh, this is fun. This is when I was trying to make a um, illustrated recipe for xiao ribbing, which is um, uh, pork mooncakes. Shanghani's pork mooncakes and I was translating the recipe and trying to figure out how to organize it and I did it all in here I really like these spreads um, I started using this is when I started designing uh, more planner stickers so I got to use my very own little book tracker stickers or book rating stickers in here and that was really exciting for me um, yeah this is when I started cutting my Polaroid zip photos in half and they work so well when you cut a Polaroid zip photo in half it is the exact width of the little date square thing which was very satisfying for me although I didn't figure it out at this point but it is very satisfying so yeah and then um, this yellow is that um, amber ink that I was talking about earlier I really like this yellow. It is my favorite ink, I think, um, to use as like an accent color. Um, I was reading so much this month. Um, this is when I started reading again, which is really exciting to be able to see in my in my journal. Uh, I used to be a really big reader, and then I stopped reading um, during COVID because COVID kind of really stressed me out, um, and. Uh, I started reading again and it's, it's fun. It's so great. I'm really excited to uh, talk about books in an upcoming Vlogmas video. Here I was testing out, I was trying to photograph um, the white stickers versus the clear stickers and show you the difference. So the clear stickers blend in better with the paper, but the white stickers um, are more saturated. Yeah, this is my friend Marianne's uh, wash, uh, washi tape that she designed. It's so cute. We love a ghosty. This is when I got my road test. This is when I did my road test. So, so your girl knows how to drive. I have not driven since my road test. So do I still remember how to drive? <laughs> Questionable. Um, more stickers for the um, shop photos. And more stickers. I was trying to take photos of all of the different variations of stickers and then I quickly realized that that was unsustainable because I have so many sticker sheets in the shop. I do think that I need to go through and clear out some of them. Although I think I might just look at what's currently out of stock and discontinue them. We will see. Um, yeah, I was really busy at this point. So you did not do any journaling. And then I started journaling again. I, for a while I tried to do health tracking in here. Um, I'm not very good at health tracking uh, because I forget 
and um, I live in a general kind of low level amount of pain very frequently. I have migraines a lot um, and I'm just like frequently tired. I'm pretty sure I'm like fully able-bodied so I don't know what's up with that but I did start trying to track my health stuff and I quickly abandoned it. <laughs> But uh, maybe maybe that's something that I need to uh, work on doing in 2023. Just doing some migraine tracking and um, kind of tracking like my water intake and stuff like that, just to see the correlation. Because the last time I went to the doctor um, and I told them I had a lot of headaches, this is when I got married. I told them I got a lot of headaches. Um, they said that you probably just aren't. I was, probably just wasn't drinking enough water. But I feel like I still, I've, I got better at drinking water this year and I'm still, still headachy a lot. Um, this is when I went to New Orleans, uh, which there is a vlog for on my channel. Um, World War II Museum in New Orleans. Wow. Best museum I've ever been to, uh, probably in my life. It was incredible. Um, it covered the, uh, uh, campaign in, um, Europe and Germany and it also covered the campaign in Asia and the Pacific campaign whatever whatever it's called um, and as as a Chinese person uh, if you know anything about World War II history and like that general time period in in China it was a rough time for us so it was really meaningful to get to see accounts of people discussing that whole thing in this country because I feel like in America we don't talk about it a lot so this museum, if you're in the area, definitely go. Um, and we went back, <laughs> we went back a second day. We went two days in a row. Loved that museum. And then came back, you can see, so I, I, I am pretty dedicated about trying to record um, memories for like big trips and, and like fun weekends and stuff. <laughs> and then the minute I get back, no more, dec no more decorating. That's it. <laughs> Right, so um, most of November is completely clear. I can tell you why. Um, because around this time, I was working on getting a new shop up and running because I switched my shop uh, website. And I also was working on the shop update. So November really was kind of a blur for me. I did a ton of overworking, which you can't even see because I didn't record it. Um, but I did a ton of overworking in in November and I was very exhausted for most of it, which is why all of these pages are completely empty. Right, December, again, these first three days were packing orders. So if you watched my packing uh, 150 orders in three days vlog, that's what I was doing here. And then started kind of using it again, but um, this past week has been really stressful for me. Kind of just, I think I was just really burnt out from the shop update, so that's why it's kind of empty. And then I started using it again. This was this past Saturday. I did a market and I got some photos. I think it turned out really cute. And then yesterday, I'm filming this on Tuesday. No, not yesterday, Sunday. We went to the... Um, holiday train show in uh, the Bronx, which if you're in New York, you should definitely go. And I got to use my train sticker, which I'm really excited about. I really like my train sticker. And this is today. This is the day that I am filming. So that is the full flip through. I hope it was interesting. Um, I do like getting to see an, a full... This was really fun for me, mostly, <laughs> to get to see everything I did this past year for the most part i mean since uh, since april um it's one of the things i find really valuable about having a planner because it's so nice to have a combination of like a daily to-do list to record what i was doing on a day-to-day -day basis but also have these little snippets of journaling um tucked into it um, i think it makes the flip through experience really kind of rewarding because it feels like little bits of surprises um, yeah, I am really excited to get to use my new Hobonichi next year. I can show you that one too. I have it tucked away. But this is the one that's replacing it and it's the English version. So the grid size is slightly different and much to my disappointment, um, the dates are not colored and they're also much bigger. 
So I really like the Japanese version a lot better, but you know what? It's fine. I already paid for this one. <laughs> it's not a big deal. I cannot afford another planner. So yeah. Um, as always, thank you so much for being part of my cozy little space on the internet. I hope you enjoyed this little, this quick little flip through. It's 20 minutes long. It's not that quick. Um, and I love you all very much and I will see you in a couple days for another Vlogmas video. Bye friends!